Hey guys, what's up? I am back in my normal office, which means most of the echo is gone and I can get back to normal business. And today we're talking about the Ryzen APUs again, but this time we're talking about memory configurations. So right here we have the Ryzen 5 2400G. This is the bigger brother to the 2200G that a couple of my last videos have been over. And actually we used the 2200G here in the testing for this video because I had to RMA my first 2400G. The original was actually actually triggering an overcurrent protection on the motherboard and swapping it out fixed the issue altogether. So I'm pretty sure it was the 2400G originally. So I'll be delving back into the 2400G in the coming week or so. But the 2200G was used in the following test using one stick of eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running at 3000 megahertz, actually 2933. And the other tests were run with two four gigabyte sticks totaling eight gigabytes, just dual channel this time with the exact same memory memory speed. So the reason I ran these tests, and I only tested them on the eSports titles that I just used in my last video over the 2200G, and I'll go ahead and link that in a card. But the reason I decided to do this whole uh, testing process was because other channels have reported that using one stick of RAM results in much worse gaming performance than using two sticks of RAM, so I wanted to check those results for myself. And sure enough, the graphs speak for themselves. Two sticks of RAM is better in every scenario even games like League of Legends that don't really seem that memory intensive uh, do a much better job with two sticks of RAM as opposed to one stick of RAM even in the graphics department. So it's very clear from the test that I've run as well as the test that I've seen elsewhere on other channels that if at all possible you should definitely go with two sticks of RAM if you're using a Ryzen APU instead of one stick. Whereas with most other processors it's perfectly fine to go with one stick of RAM if you're using a discrete graphics card. Uh, that is definitely not the case with these APUs. Now, where I see this coming into play is those of you that are building out budget systems. First and foremost, with any Ryzen processor, and I recommend this from the Ryzen 3 clear up to the Ryzen 7 chips, I really think you should be getting a B350 board instead of an A320 board. With the A320 boards, you can't overclock your processor and all Ryzen chips are unlocked and overclockable. And frankly, you can get quite a bit of performance for very little cost by getting a B350 motherboard, even with the stock coolers. A lot of those lower end Ryzen chips actually overclock fairly well. And almost all Ryzen chips will come within 100 or 150 megahertz of that four gigahertz mark. Maybe not with a stock cooler, but you can still get 3.8 gigahertz almost universally with the stock coolers for these chips. So upgrading to the B350 platform in my mind is much better than just sticking with the A320. Now the problem here is a lot of the lowest end B350 motherboards only have two RAM slots. So if you go with one stick as a way of leaving yourself that upgrade path, you're actually hurting yourself in gaming performance by a lot if you're getting an APU. So if you plan on getting one of these Ryzen APUs and still pairing it with a B350 board, make sure the B350 board you get is one that has four RAM slots or four RAM DIMMs so that you can use a two by four kit and get your eight gigabytes for about uh, hopefully around that $90 price point though hopefully that goes down in the future so you're still getting eight gigabytes but then that still leaves you an upgrade path down the road for adding another eight gigabytes to give yourself 16 gigabytes total but after seeing all the testing from other channels my results are not uh, in any way, at least in my mind, surprising. And because of that, I'm not really delving too much deeper into the problems, though I would note that some games that are not so easy to run on hardware, I mean, all of these games are relatively simple. Rocket League, Overwatch, League of Legends, they all run on a wide variety of hardware. I imagine, though, if you're playing a game that requires even more VRAM and uh, more of a VRAM buffer, maybe, that those impacts from only having one stick versus two may be even greater. Obviously, I haven't tested that, but if there's interest, if there seems to be significant interest, maybe I will test it. But we already know that it's a big detriment to only have one stick of RAM. So um, at this point, I don't see any reason anyone would actually purposely only put one stick of RAM in an APU system, at least with these Ryzen APUs. But if you like this content, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, and comment. All those things down below do help out a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And also, as always, I'll let YouTube go ahead and queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.